All right, friends. Now from this video, we'll start the concept of development process of this single page headless application using ReactJS and WordPress. ReactJS will be used for front end and WordPress will be used for REST APIs concept. So here, first thing first, before going into the deep concept of this development, we want our two setup installations. So first, I will start with ReactJS. Let's go to browser. So I will install ReactJS application setup using Vite tool. Before going further, I only request you to please hit the like button to give us a thumbs up to this interesting course and please do subscribe so that I will be creating such type of amazing and interesting courses for you. Mm -hmm. And one more thing that before installation of this ReactJS setup, make sure that inside your local system, npm and node must be installed. How to verify? Simply, I will open Project Terminal and to verify our Node setup installation as well as NPM, simply I will type, let's say Node minus V. If I hit enter, now I can see that inside my system, this version of Node is available. In same case, like if we want to verify NPM, so simply NPM minus V, hit enter. Now we can see that inside my system, NPM is also available. So after verification, let's go inside this official website that is v.dev, click on get started. And once we come into this page, simply scroll a bit here, we'll see a section called scaffolding your first v project. Now we can see a command inside this npm section and that is npm create v iterate latest. Simply let's copy this whole command. I have copied, let's back to a project terminal and simply I will paste that is npm create with iterate latest. Inside this command, we will create our ReactJS setup using this npm tool. Now let's hit enter. Now we can see that it is asking about project name. So for the time being, let's say that ReactJS hyphen app hyphen one. This is our project name. Let's hit enter. Now it is asking that in which framework we want to create this setup. So obviously we want to use ReactJS setup. So here we have React. Let's hit enter. Now next it is asking that in which language, which variant I have to use. So I will choose JavaScript. So here we have the third option JavaScript. Hit enter. Now successfully it has created an application setup that is ReactJS hyphen app hyphen one. If I go to folder structure, now we can see that here we have folder called ReactJS hyphen app hyphen one. Let's go inside it and now we can see that inside these files, if I go inside view, large icons. So we can see that here we have two folders called public and src and here we have few files. So what basically we have to do next, simply if I go into project terminal, it is suggesting that we have to go into that setup, what we have downloaded, then we have to go and execute this command called npm install and to start our development server of that application, simply we have to execute call npm run dev. So simply we have to follow each step to go with this react setup. So simply cd react.js hit enter. Now I am inside. We have downloaded folder. Simply we have to execute the command call npm install. Hit enter. Now successfully we can see that this command has added 248 packages into a project setup. Again if I go into a project folder, now we can see that apart from these folders and these files, also we have one more folder called node modules. And node modules basically this folder is going to contain all about node dependencies. If I go, let's go one folder back. Let's go again project terminal. Now next what we have to do, simply we have to go and start our development server to execute this application into browser. So what was that command? So simply npm run dev, hit enter. And now we can see that our application is started at localhost and look at the port value that is 5173. So I am just hover it, pressing control, click here. And now we can see that successfully we have installed our ReactJS setup into our local system using Feed tool. Next, after this React setup, now we have to download and install our WordPress setup application. So what to do for that? 
Simply, let's go back here inside official website of WordPress that is WordPress.org. Now here we have a button called Get WordPress. Simply, let's click on it. And once we click that, now we can see that we are on the download page and inside this page here we have a button that is download WordPress, the version that is 6.6.2. So before making this video, I already downloaded this version. We can see inside this download history. So if I go into folder structure and one folder back and now we can see that WordPress-6.6.2.zip. So what to do? Simply I will go and extract all. Extract here. Let's wait for some time. So finally, the process of extraction now completed. Let's go inside this unzipped folder. Now we can see that inside that folder, here we have a subfolder called WordPress. If I go inside it, now it contains all about the basic files of WordPress and basic folders. So what I will do here, instead of nested folders, I will go and cut this WordPress folder and paste at the root of this spa-app. Let's delete that, we don't want. Now I will go and rename this WordPress and I will call it as this time this will be called wp-app. Now this is the way that how to download and how to extract into our local system. But the installation process is not over yet. So what to do next, let's go to browser. And here I will open a new tab, so localhost and I will type that folder that is spa-app. Hit enter. Now we can see that inside that folder, here we have an application setup that is called w-app. Let's open it. And now we can see that our installation process of WordPress now started. So I'm selecting this one. You can choose any language. So this will be our site language. So select this one. Click on continue. Now it is asking about database details. So let's create a database. So I will go inside my PHMI admin, click on databases and I will call it as, let's say WP underscore rest underscore app. I will copy the database name, click on create button, database created. Then I will go here, click on let's go button. So database name, this is our name. In my case, the username is root of PHMI admin. Password is empty. Database host is OK and table prefix is also OK. Click on submit button. Click on run the installation. Now successfully, it is asking some basic details of site. So here, I will call it as WP underscore headless app, the username of WordPress admin panel, let's pass admin and password. Also, I want to put admin. Confirm use of weak password and for the time being, I'm using a dummy email value. Click on install WordPress. Now successfully, we can see that our process of installation of WordPress now completed. Let's click on login link. Now it has redacted into the admin login page of WordPress. So simply let's pass our detail. So remember we have the details of login like admin and admin. Click on login button. And successfully, we are now logged in into our WordPress admin panel. So this is an admin panel. If we want to see the front end of this website, simply hover over this site title, click on visit site by pressing control. And now we can see that this is the front end of WordPress and this is back end. So successfully, now we have completed the installation setup of our ReactJS setup and here we have our API is module and that is of WordPress. Now let's meet to next amazing video. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.